In this video, we're going to review the performance of your hotel during the fourth quarter. And we'll also go over the stimulation project as well as uh, the online CHIA training. So let's take a quick look at the performance of your hotel during the fourth quarter. So um, this is hotel three, oh, sorry, this is hotel eight. And it looks like uh, hotel eight started collecting guest responses during the fourth quarter. So overall, um, the guest responses are positive and you can also go to um, notice in social media comments. And if you need further um, information regarding the guest responses, you can usually find uh, guest comments here uh, in this report. Now let's go to our revenue performance report. And if you remember from our last, in our last video, we talked about um, some of the underperforming market segments. And we, um, uh, I suggested a couple things that um, this hotel could do to improve that underperforming market segment. And you can see that the tour segment the market share of the tour segment has uh, gone up by 1%. And if you want to find out more, of course, you can go to the rooms report and see what happened in that tour segment. And uh, you can see that here by adjusting the tour room rates, tour segment, room rates in the tour segment, uh, the market share, um, has now improved a bit. Now, another thing that we um, talked about in our last video was uh, our market positioning strategy. So let me show you one new report today. So it's called Price Value Map. So this is the the visual that can show where you are uh, where your hotel is in the market in terms of price and value so for example you can see that let's actually go back to the third quarter before we oh it's october okay so before we uh, implemented our market positioning strategies so you can see that all of the hotels are um, sort of clustered in the middle uh, and the only difference that we can see um, among these hotels is price so on the y-axis sorry on the x-axis from left to right you can see that the price increases and all of these hotels are again clustered in the middle and they're competing against each other based on, uh, based almost solely on price. However, we started implementing several different uh, strategies to differentiate one, uh, from one another. And now this is what happened um, after the fourth quarter. So in terms of guest rooms so you can actually see there are three different categories guest room fnb and meeting and events um, first of all in terms of guest rooms now uh, hotels are still um, clustered around the middle but on if you look at the y-axis this is uh, this white axis refers to the quality of each hotel. So from you know the low to high, you can see you can see the hotels um, on the high end side uh, has higher or better quality, whereas the hotels um, placed the lower end side um, represent lower quality. Um, compared to the ones 
uh, place and this part of the, the space. So you can see that now uh, these hotels are not only competing against each other, uh, um, uh, one another on price, Y and X axis, also quality um, that is represented by uh, Y axis. So based on your market positioning strategies, you can place your hotel or you can position uh, the hotel, your hotel in this marketplace. So for example, if you want to be maybe slightly lower, lower quality, but also low price, um, then uh, this uh, is your market position. That's hotel number nine. Uh, or if you want to be high quality and high price, uh, hotel six is that hotel in the market. However, hotel number six, sorry, uh, hotel number five is actually provides better, higher quality than the rest of the hotels. Um, but at the same time, it also has lower price point. So this typically um, uh, wouldn't happen in, in reality, but in the simulation game, if you're actually, if you can actually do both like low, low uh, price, but uh, you provide better quality, you can actually place yourself um, here on the space. But uh, there is no uh, right or wrong answer to the market positioning in the simulation game. So my suggestion is you, if you want to um, be high end, high quality, uh, also, a uh, highly priced hotel, you can do so. Uh, and uh, if you want to be low price, uh, low quality hotel, you can do so as well. Um, your goal, um, however, is to still maximize, to maximize your revenue um, and generate more profits compared to the competition hotels in the market. So let's uh, take another, take a look at uh, food and beverage as well. So same as uh, guest rooms, you can also see how um, each hotel is um, fighting for their market position in the market. So again, uh, for example, hotel number uh, eight uh, is placed slightly better quality than the rest of the hotels, except for hotel uh, two, this guy. Um, um, and price-wise, it's also about around the middle. So you can, you can also apply the same strategy uh, to F&B operations and see if you can differentiate your food and beverage operations from the rest of the hotels in the market. Um, meeting and events, Probably it's this is not your uh, main products and services to to sell, but uh, if you again if you find uh, a way to generate more profits by selling more uh, meetings and events, you should also consider uh, position. You should also consider positioning your uh, hotel in this particular um, area. Okay, so that's um, that's the actually that's the end of this practice event. So we will uh, end this practice round here, but at the same time we will start the actual competition round uh, after this round. So let me show you real quick. So this Friday, you'll have to start, we'll have to start fresh. So we're gonna, uh, what, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the simulation event. So we're going back to the first year of uh, uh, January of the first year, and we're gonna start fresh. Uh, so for this simulation project, uh, just like what you uh, did in the, in the practice event, you will have to 
run your hotel against your competition hotels in the in the simulation game and your goal would be to maximize your profits or revenues so uh, this report is due by 5 p.m um, may 6 and here's a here's a basic guideline for you uh, to to uh, get started Again, uh, we in the practice event, we tried different things to um, to see how you can effectively and profitably operate your hotel. But before for this project, before you implement all those uh, strategies, I would like you to identify your goal first. Of course, your goal would be to maximize uh, maximize your revenue. Um, and then you will create appropriate strategies to achieve your goal. So um, you should also consider your market positioning strategy here so that you have to decide whether uh, you want to be a high-end hotel or lower-end hotel or um, um, hotels that, uh, that are um, different from the rest of the hotels in the market. And also, once you uh, create your market positioning strategy and other strategies to achieve your goal, uh, you need to develop your objectives. So these are more specific uh, goals for your hotel. Now, once you uh, establish your uh, goals, strategies, and objectives, uh, then now you can go ahead and uh, start implementing uh, your uh, strategies. And as, you, as we move forward, uh, I want you to submit a quarterly report. Uh, so there's gonna be four reports, five points for each report. So after, basically after each cycle, you're gonna have to submit a very brief report. Um, reviewing your past performance. So uh, let me scroll down here. So this is the uh, simulation schedule for your uh, simulation uh, event. So you will, we will have four cycles, uh, just like the practice event. And this is the specific date and time. These are the specific dates and times for uh, each cycle. So after each cycle, you will have to generate uh, performance evaluation report. Uh, so this is called, uh, that's called quality report. And here are some examples for that quarterly report. So uh, it looks something like this. So what, what I uh, like you to do is, eat, after each cycle, every time you make new changes to, to improve your performance, you will have a lot to talk about. But I, um, I like you to summarize uh, your performance, uh, um, the review of your performance, and make it into a very simple uh, three statements like this. So, for example, if you um, change your if you change your room rate in the bar standard segment uh, based on your the review of the data. Um, so, let's say. Uh, you found um, three percent decrease in the in the standard market segment, and you've um, reviewed the uh, the past data to to make appropriate decision to improve that particular market segment. So, for example, you lower your uh, room rate by five percent, and um, to to compete. Uh, against uh, other hotels pricing. And then as a result, maybe you'll have some improvement in that uh, market segment. So, so if you find 6% increase, that's what you're gonna say in your uh, quarterly report. Another example would be same thing, but maybe it has something to do with the channel management. So maybe you saw um, more demand through uh, OTA channel and so to, to respond to that 
increased demand uh, on the OTA channel, you maybe you decide to sell more rooms through that channel. So you um, you lower the room rates. Either you lower the room rates or you push more rooms uh, to through that uh, particular channel. And as a result, maybe you ended up selling more. But you could end up selling less too. But um, again, uh, it's it's good that uh, your strategy worked, but but you can also report the uh, the performance that didn't uh, work as you planned. So either way is fine. The purpose of this report is for you to uh, locate the data uh, and uh, evaluate that data, um, and then based on your data analysis, uh, you will have to interpret. Um, what actually happened. So that's the, uh, that's the purpose of this quality report. And here are some examples that you can uh, use to, uh, to uh, write your performance, uh, sorry, uh, the quarterly report after each cycle. Now, if you scroll back uh, up, so your, um, besides your quality report, so the quarterly report again is you um, after each cycle so there will be four reports but at the end of the project uh, you'll have to write a final report which is uh, 80 point so it's uh, it's no more than five pages and um, here it says unstable projects but it's uh, it's an online submission uh, but you can uh, follow the formatting guidelines here to, to format your project um, another uh, thing I like to mention is um, there will be uh, additional 20 points for the hotel that achieved the highest red part and the highest gold part in the market so there could be two hotels or one hotel achieving both red part and go par, uh, but these are extra uh, extra twenty points for the the ones who uh, generate the most profits. Okay, uh, so like I said, the the simulation, the actual uh, simulation event will will, will start uh, next week Wednesday. Uh, so you will need to submit your uh, new inputs by um, midnight Light. on Wednesday. And then from that point on, you'll have to do four cycles every Wednesday and Friday until uh, May 1st. Okay, so I also want to uh, give you guys a quick look at the, uh, the Chia training. So this is uh, the uh, PDF document I, that I uh, emailed you guys earlier today. Uh, now, what, um, what you need to do is, and you also uh, received your own access code uh, via email, you will have to uh, go to this website uh, and then create your own account and use, it, use your uh, access code that you received in your email to access the online training. Um, once you use, uh, establish your, uh, create your account, you can use your username and uh, password to log in uh, the next time. So make sure that you do that the first time when you log in and all the uh, instructions um, are available on the uh, American Hotel and Lodging uh, Educational Institute website. You can also email me if you have if you're having trouble logging in or um, accessing this uh, training material. Okay, um, so today's uh, video is a short one, uh, and I hope you guys. Uh, enjoy the simulation project and again please let me know if you have any questions um, regarding the project simulation project or the chia online training thank you